Senior secret senior. weapon. That's senior. Our <laughs> senior <laughs> secret weapon. saying it's exactly. senior. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, that's exciting, though. I know there's a lot of excitement around here. We've been doing rehearsals over the last couple weeks and really getting to know each other. And there's a lot more fun, I think, than seriousness. But we'll pull it together, I promise. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's exciting to see those changes. Also probably excited to see the changes we've had weather-wise. Boy, what a difference between this morning. We woke up in the tropical air. We are now firmly entrenched in high pressure and drier air. And that sticks with us. A couple lake effect clouds. Clouds around tomorrow morning, otherwise sunshine and a cool start. We'll have 50s outside, 60s downtown, and then by evening, lots of sunshine. Oh, I had to throw that in there. It's our last 8 p.m. sunset tomorrow, and then we go back to 759 to start the month of September. Uh, but don't worry, April will be here soon. Temperatures right now, we're in the 70s downtown. There's a brisk wind. Boy, we've got 60s as you get inland. That wind will keep temperatures from crashing tonight, but we're still talking pretty cool readings. Numbers in terms of temperatures can only come down to where the dew point is. They can never go lower than the dew point. That would be 100% saturation of the air. And our dew points kind of are indicative of where that temperature can go. Notice we've got a lot of 50s out here to near 60 degrees. That's pretty much where our temperatures are going to go tonight. And we've got a pretty gusty wind near the lakeshore. As you get inland, it's calm. You're like, what wind? But it's really howling off the lake. For all those lakeshore communities, you're dealing with that breeze all night tonight. And tomorrow's going to be breezy everywhere. We've got the refreshing night ahead. Notice the wind starts to pick up throughout the day. I think we could see gusts over 20 at times tomorrow. Beautiful conditions, though. All this stemming from a low pressure off towards the north. That brought the rain yesterday. High pressure of the Canadian variety heading south. All this puts the squeeze play on. And you can track our air. If you look at isobars, you can track our air, where it's coming from. It's actually coming from the Hudson Bay right now. And if you haven't been to the Hudson Bay recently, it's cooler this time of year and it's a little bit less humid. You don't have the Gulf of Mexico moisture. Everything funneling in. We'll get in this air mass for about 36 hours and then we're going to start to bring in the heat that still exists out towards the plains. The cooler air across the lake, you combine that with a little trough that's swinging through, kicked off a couple showers earlier this evening. This will continue tonight, just very spotty of lake effect variety showers out towards the east. So Lake Geauga, Ashtabula County, out towards Erie, Crawford County in Pennsylvania may have some showers around tonight and that'll stick around with your National Design Mart hour by our forecast. You notice the lake effect clouds that we have. Maybe a water spout or two tomorrow morning offshore. Tis the season. Notice how everything kind of goes away as we get drier air in here. Picture perfect. Couldn't script it any better tomorrow. We're talking upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Lots of sunshine, brisk wind, just perfect. Tomorrow night we bring in another frontal boundary that'll kick off a couple clouds, looks to pass dry, and that will set us up for a cooler Thursday where high temperatures are only going to be in the low 70s, maybe mid 70s if we're lucky, but a little bit cooler on Thursday. So let's talk rain. Let's look forward and talk about what's next in terms of your Labor Day forecast. Thursday, Friday, I have dry. This is the lake effect shower tomorrow. Most of you aren't going to see that, but Saturday, Sunday, it's not a big chance of rain this weekend. I have to throw it in there. Going into Labor Day weekend, I'd rather give you the pessimistic side of things versus the, oh, we're going to have sunshine every day, no rain. You have a picnic and then we have rain on it. So I'll show you what we're looking at here. Notice we're dry, high pressure still in charge on Friday. But Saturday, as we get into things, there's a frontal boundary off towards the north. It's not connected with the Gulf of Mexico, so there's not going to be a lot of moisture with it initially, just scattered showers. However, we're bringing in waves of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. So these are eventually going to meet up. Here's Saturday, looks dry, right? But I'm trying to forward think, right? If the models change tomorrow, bring this further south or this further north, we may have some showers around here. So we're going to throw a slight chance in Saturday. Better chance is Sunday, though. This frontal boundary kind of lay low here across northern uh, areas of Ohio. And then Monday, it looks like a lot. Trust me, it's not. It's just isolated. But I think we may have some showers around here this weekend. And that low kind of rotates its way through the area. So putting some numbers on it and some pretty little icons, your Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast features a cool, refreshing day on Thursday. And then we bring back the heat, 83 Friday, 87 Saturday, and then those slight rain chances Sunday through Tuesday with temps in the 80s. Guys, cool and refreshing. We like that. Thank you, Matt.